Planet Dolan. From how paper is made to if we can sweat while underwater. We have some of your most burning questions about life. Hey there, my name is Melissa. I'll be reading out the questions and answers. I'm Danger Dolan, and I'm here to blow your mind with truth. Ghostly Blue asks, how does being close to a TV mess up our vision? TV? What is this, 2005? Your eyes just hurt because you're watching all the terrible, terrible garbage shows they make these days. Yeah, guys, you should watch premium content, like Planet Dolan. Exactly. Children, teenagers, adults, doesn't matter. We won't hurt your eyes. In fact, we'll improve them. Isn't that right, Sidious? Please kill me. It is a myth that watching television too close to the screen will cause eye damage. Although, if you do this for too long, it can cause eye strain. This, however, does not cause permanent damage and will go away with rest. Super Joanna123 asks, why does clay turn hard? Depends on the quality of the brand. I can't tell you how many times I bought a bag of clay only to open it when I get home and it's already hardened. Waste of money. Are you sure it was clay? Are you sure you didn't just buy a bag of rocks? Oh, actually it might have been. They were selling a lot of rocks. Wait, what place sells rocks? Anyway... Clay hardens as a chemical reaction when heated. The clay particles are held together with water, and at a high temperature, over a thousand degrees Celsius, the water evaporates. This causes the remaining particles to stick together without the water there to keep it soft. Ms. Stilson asks, do cows really have two stomachs? Certainly. Cows have four udders, right? Well, two of those udders are controlled by one stomach each, so... Ugh, I don't like where this is going. So, two udders produce regular milk, and the other stomach digests nutrients differently in order to produce, you guessed it, chocolate milk. Ugh. Go ahead, milk this cow. Prove me wrong. No, cows actually have one stomach with four separate compartments. The rumen, reticulum, omasum, and abomasum. The first two sections store food after it is partially chewed. The cow can bring up the food again later and chew it some more. It then travels to the third and fourth sections. Oh yeah, cause cows regurgitating their own food is way less gross than my chocolate milk dairy, right? This is biology. These are facts. Your chocolate milk thing is just... Blah. Blue Blade Gamer asks, is a platypus part duck, part beaver, or both? Well, as everyone knows, if you visit Australia and think about a made-up animal hard enough, it will actually pop into existence. So obviously some kid thought of a brown furry beaver that has flippers and a duck's bill that lays eggs and also somehow venomous like a snake. It also explains the turtle frog, which is naked, lives in sand, and cries itself to sleep at night. It's a weird country. In all seriousness, a platypus isn't part duck or beaver. It just has the appearance of being made up of other animals. The first scientist thought the same and assumed it was a fake. In fact, platypuses are monotremes, mammals that lay eggs and are entirely unique not related to any other living species. Swaggy Pikachu asks, is egg a sort of meat? Actually, it's more symbolic than that. Eggs are literally the chicken's soul encapsulated into yellow, round deliciousness. So not really meat, as long as you're okay devouring the pure essence of a living creature, you monster. Generally, an egg is not considered a sort of meat because it is an animal byproduct and not part of the flesh of the animal. Although in terms of its nutrition, it is more similar to meat than it is to dairy. In some cultures though, such as Hinduism, egg is considered meat. Nintendoosh Productions asks, how is paper made? Let me ask Mikhailum. He's made from paper. He'll know something. Hey Mikhailum, how are you, how are you doing buddy? Ah! Oh, oh, come on. I barely touched you. Dolan, what have you done? Oh. I hit Somebody, please get some tape. 95% ah! of paper used is made from trees. However, it can also be made from recycled paper. Once the tree is cut down, the bark is removed. The tree is then ground into chips that are boiled with water and chemicals to separate the fibers from the natural glue. 
This creates a paste, which can then be dyed white to give the paper its color. All excess water is removed from the paste before heat rollers press it into large sheets. These sheets are then ready to be cut into various paper sizes. Chicken Taco Geoff asks, What part do wasps play in the ecosystem compared to bees? <laughs> they function as flying garbage. Bees pollinate and work hard for their whole hive. Wasps buzz around, stabbing every person and gives them a sideways glance, pouring venom out like it's maple syrup. They're useless, flying rodents who should be exterminated until they're all dead and then burnt until their bodies exist as ashes upon the winds of hell. So, you're not a fan of them? Uh, they're all right, I guess. There are many ecosystems and types of bees and wasps, but the main difference is that wasps don't pollinate flowers like bees do. They are mainly a predatory species. Wasps play a part in the food chain, feeding on insects, which helps keep the pest population low. Nick K asks, is the element mercury named after the planet Mercury? Coincidence. If you haven't slept all day and you say, I'm tired, you don't actually mean you were hit in the face with tires, now do you? I don't think anyone has ever thought that, ever. Exactly. Same for Mercury. Case closed. They are both named after the Roman messenger god, Mercury, known for his speed. The planet Mercury moves across the sky faster than the other planets, hence the name. The element, also called Quicksilver, wasn't named directly after the planet, but because of how it moves. Crafter Squid asks, are turtles colorblind? I don't think turtles care. No, I'm serious. When you're running down the beach, eagles, pterodactyls swooping down to eat your brothers and sisters in a haze of blood, the last thing they're thinking is, oh, gee, the sky sure is a nice hue of turquoise today. Now they're thinking, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, turtles are not colorblind, but actually have excellent eyesight. Some turtles can see more wavelengths of light than humans can and have excellent night vision. They, of course, need this good sight to avoid predators and hunt for food. Coffee Does Ghoster asks, Do we sweat while underwater? <laughs> Everyone knows water is sweat. That's why people only go to the pool on sunny days. Everyone's just sharing their sweat together. It's relaxing, smelly, but it's nice. Now, Melissa, I'm sure you're expecting me to say that the water is made of chocolate milk, but no, you can't swim in it, you can only drink it. Here, let me pour you a glass. This cow's broken! Yes, you can still sweat while submerged in water. It is your body temperature that makes you sweat. If you are too hot, your body will cool you down by sweating. So even if you are in water that is colder than your body temperature, if you are swimming or doing something vigorous enough, you will still sweat. This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support, guys! Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a cool one!